and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to compute genetic bitrate backloads using our software. Before going to an, our analysis, uh, let's say something about uh, GT or genetic bitrate. As all of you know that there are a number of uh, methods that have been used to understand uh, trait relations and overall genotypic profile of a number of crop species. Recently, a genotype by trait by plot together with genotype plus genotype environment interaction by plot technique has become an effective tool for exploring multi trait data. So, this uh, by plot that means a genotype by uh, Trait backloads help us a number of uh, things. The first one, it graphically displays the genotype by trait table in the form of backloads. Second, it allows the visualization of the association among traits across the genotype trait profile of uh, you, a number of uh, genotypes that you have in your uh, data or in your objective. Certainly, it also provides information on the usefulness of the cultivar for the production as well as it generates important information that helps to detect the less important or the redundant uh, traits. And lastly, it, it helps us to identify those uh, appropriate or those that are appropriate for uh, indirect uh, selection for a target uh, trait. So this is uh, the concept of the genotype by trait uh, uh, analysis. So let's go to our analysis. In order to run GT, you have to run this package, that means the uh, Metan package. Thank you, uh, Professor uh, Tiago Olivato for creating this wonderful uh, platform. That means this package is already bu built by uh, Professor Tiago Olivato. So you have to incorporate this into your software. Then I will use the data that's already built in this package. And let's see if you want to see uh, the uh, frame. It looks like this. So let's back to our analysis. So there are a number of uh, biplots, that means GT biplots we are expecting in this tutorial, which is around 10. So in order to create a model, you have to use the function GTB. GTB stands for what? Genotype by uh, trait by plot. So first you have to indicate your data name here in the parentheses, then follow by the genotype, then this means the response variable. Mind you that this only work for what? For the numerical value. So the, the remaining thing will not be considered if you have a character or other thing will not be uh, considered. So that you have to use the all the numeric value, then type and submit to our software. So the first, the first uh, biplot will be display is the basic one that contains both the response variable as well as the uh, genotype. So to do that, you have to show the model that you create. We, we did this one, then type is equal to one in order to get the basic plot. Then the color of the genotype is blue. You can change to red, you can change to black, you can change to white or yellow, whatever you want. Then also, you uh, you can also choose the color of the environment as a red or anything that you want uh, to do. Then the size of the text of the genotype, you can suggest either two, either three, either four, either five. That is, depend on your um, choices. So type this and submit to our studio so that you can get the basic uh, by plots in this form. The second one is, uh, if you remember in the genotype plus genotype by environmental interaction, it is a mean uh, versus a stability. So in this case, we uh, we will get the average tester coordination view for the genotype trait. So to do that, all, are, all things are similar, but you have to change here from one from one into two. So type this and submit to our studio so that again, you will get uh, such type of uh, biplot in the uh, right side of your R studio. Then continue for the third one, which is uh, which one where. So in order to get which one where, just type is equal to instead of two, make his uh, three. So submit to our studio so that you can get the which one where V of the uh, genotype by trait uh, by plot in this form. 
Next, uh, you can get also the discriminative uh, versus the representativeness. So in order to, uh, to do that, you have to type is equal to 4 instead of 3, so that you will get the detailed information. So submit to R Studios, then again you will get the discriminative versus the uh, representativeness. Then, in order to get the genotype, uh, sorry, in order to get the type 5, that means examining of trait, if you remember in JGE, it is examining of what environment. All things are similar. So, if you type 5, you are, you are going, you are expecting to have what? Here. So, to correct that, you have to just use a plot, then you indicate your model, then you have to select which environment, which trait you are going to examine. So, Accordingly, in our data, I want to examine this in the environment section so that I indicate in this way. So I will get the type 5 in this way. But if you type, if you uh, do the uh, as a, a previous one, it will not be work. Then again, in order to rank the traits, but if you remember in the JGE, it will be what ranking of what the uh, environment. So in order to do that, you have to here type is equal to six. But mind that type is equal to five is not work, so you have to use this syntax in order to get to examine the trait. But if you want to get the rank of the trait, so simply type is equal to six, like uh, type one, two, three, and four. Uh, Plots by plots. So type this and submit to our studio. You'll get this uh, kind of uh, by uh, plot. Let's continue to the type seven. Type seven means examining of what a general type. So I'm still like type of five. I'm expecting error, and instead of type is equal to seven, you have to suggest what. The, uh, which 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 genotype you are going to examine? So uh, plot then mode. You have to use the select function, which equals to gene. G E N, which stands for what? It is the genotype uh, name. So genotype column name. So submit this. You will get the result again in this uh, form. Continue to plot or to the number. Eight by plots, that means ranking of what? Uh, genotypes. In order to do that, you have to type is equal to eight, so then you will get uh, the ranking of uh, genotype. Then, uh, coming to the last two by plots, so here is a type is equal to nine. It's not working again for the similar uh, to like uh, type five and type seven. This means it it will be, it will compare to genotypes. So if you type this, that means type is equal to nine. Then if you select all this command and submit to our studio, it will not be work. So you have to label the genotype that you, that you are uh, want to compare. So in this case. You have to write plot function mode and select the genotype one that you want to compare. So as you can see here in our data, the genotype there are a number of genotypes that we have. So you have to give any genotype that you want. For example, I want to compare the H1 and H10. So I will select select the gene one, that means the genotype one as H1, and select the, gen the genotype 2 as H10 in this form. So you will compare the two genotypes, that means H1 and H10 in this form. Lastly, if you want to check the, uh, the relationship among the trait, if you remember, it is the relationship among the environment, but here is the relationship among the trait, so you have to type is equal to 10. So submit this and submit, uh, run the command to our software. So you will get uh, this kind of uh, by plot. So this is all about today's tutorial that is deal about the genotype by trait uh, analysis using R software. If you need detailed information and detailed interpretation, please uh, comment in the description box, in the YouTube uh, comment box, or alternatively use my email. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.